Good Monday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News update. An investigation is underway after Metro Police shot and killed a suspect inside of a mobile home park. Officers were there conducting an investigation near Nellis and North Las Vegas Boulevard when that suspect suddenly ran away. Police say the suspect then turned and pointed a gun at an officer, and that's when that officer fired at him but missed. Investigators say the suspect then barricaded himself inside of a mobile home along with several other people. Police did manage to get those hostages out. The suspect was still armed, though, and police did shoot and kill him. His identity has not yet been released. A new coronavirus testing site is opening up inside the Thomas and Mack Center. That new site will be open five days a week starting tomorrow, and it will operate from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Tuesdays through Saturdays. Appointments at the Thomas and Mack testing site will be available soon through UMC's website. And even though kids aren't returning to school campuses in two weeks, CCSD will continue providing meals to those in need. In fact, the district says it's actually ramping up its efforts. So starting on August 24th, there will be 300 sites giving students who qualify those free meals. But they do have to first meet those free and reduced price lunch eligibility. The district has submitted a waiver to the USDA to extend the free meals to all students. Seasonally hot, dry, breezy, sunny as we start the work week. Temperatures today topping out near normal, if not a few degrees above it. Want to get you a check of your Monday night planner. We'll hold in the triple digits through dinner time tonight with a bit of a breeze. That should weaken after sunset with the sky staying mostly clear. Working into the middle of the week, you see temperatures not far from normal 104 to 106 through Thursday. We will get a few more clouds working in on Thursday. But from there, a significant heat up takes us into the weekend. We are turning up the temperature by Saturday. We're at 100 and 10 and will stay there or slightly hotter than that through at least the start of next week. All right, Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. Have a great rest of your Monday.